हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड द प्रैक्टिकल सीरीज ऑफ द एआई एंड मशीन लर्निंग प्रैक्टिकल्स दिस इज माय फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ द प्रैक्टिकल सीरीज इन दिस सेशन वी स्टार्ट विद द प्रैक्टिकल नंबर वन व्हिच इज योर डेटा प्री प्रोसेसिंग एंड एक्सप्लोरेशन सो data pre processing and exploration is one of the very important step used in machine learning uh, practicals in this we start with the data pre processing so we start with the data pre processing data pre processing is one of the very crucial steps in machine learning in this step the raw data is will is converted into a suitable form so that it can be given or it can be used by the machine learning model in this uh, step right we have a raw data what is what do you mean by raw data the raw data is collected from the various sources right so there may be chance it contains the errors inconsistencies irrelevant information duplicate data or there may be a uh, outliers available in the data so the pre processing helps to clean to transform and organize this data so that the correct data is given to the model if the data is correct the model performance and the accuracy also increase so this is a main purpose of the data pre processing and exploration so we start with the data pre processing activity before executing the code we need to upload sample data dot csv so this is my dot csv file so this is my file as we can see here in this we have a serial number name age city and occupation so this is my simple data we have a 10 records in the, in this data set so the first step we have to upload this data set into the google colab so my data set is in this this path so i am just copying this path go to the google colab this is my google colab then click on this upload or folder button this is the folder button so it is getting connected uh, connect with the google colab now there is a button called as upload as we can see here upload and jahan pe we downloaded the data set just copy that path here we have a sample data dot csv and then click on okay so this is my sample data dot csv file so first step we have to upload the data set now the second step right i am giving a link so that we can download the data set from the google drive oh this is a link now the first step the next step is to write a code and we have to read the data from the csv file so this is a code right first we start with the import this is a library pandas as td so this is my library in this we have a method called as as we can see here we have a td dot read csv so i am reading this data into df df is a variable data frame td dot read underscore csv as we can see this is a method and within double quotes we write a path so go to this folder we have a my uploaded file here just click on this three dots then we have a copy path and within double quotes just paste this so now this is my path for the data set now i am printing df so just click as we can see here we have a so we have a 0 to 9 that means we have a 10, 10 records serial number name a city and occupation so this is a code to read the data from the pandas okay we uh, read the data and store in the data df variable so now next we start with handling missing values to handle the missing values we first delete the sum records or two record or two values from the names alice and emma so go to the data set first we go to the data set this is my data set now i am deleting this alice 
and the name Emma. And then again, I'm saving this data. And then save, replace the existing one. So this is my data set. Okay. Now again, I upload this data set on Google Colab. So go to the folder, upload, and then. Okay, now data gets uploaded. Then again, I I I execute this code. So we have a name, the first name, that is your null, and the second uh, this name, that is your one, two, three, fifth record is also name column. Within name column, we have a null. So now two values are missing, right? There are two values from the names Alice and M from the data, and save it again and upload in the Google Colab. Okay, so now we check, right? Okay, how many uh, columns are there, and 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 in each column, how many null values are there? So there is a function called as df dot info. So just click on code, then print df dot info. So this will give the information about the data set. So यहाँ पे as we can see here serial number has a ten values, age has a ten values, city has a ten values, but occupation has a ten values. But in name as we can see in name column we have only eight uh, names. That means there are two names that are missing. Okay, so with the help of info we can find out how many missing values are there in the column. Okay. so this is a method to find the values now we handle this so we can print the name also ye jo hai this will display only the null values now print and then df within bracket now we print the name so when we print the name as we can see here the first is your not applicable and the second one is your null values so these are two values that are missing in the name column now we handle this name column now again uh, code section now i am printing print df of within double quotes name then we have a next method is null in python we have a method called as is null it will check whether the uh, values are null or not so the first record is true what does it mean it is a null value it contains a null values missing values right these are the false that means this names does not contain the missing values again this is a missing values so is null is a method that is used to find out the uh, missing values in the column now next Now अब हम लोग क्या करेंगे We replace this null value with the some other values. Okay? So हम लोग go to the code section again. Then we have a method as we can see here df dot fill and a. And now अब हमको किससे fill करना है? We have to pass here. So suppose I am giving null. Then in place equals to two. Then print df. So as we can see here, on the first name and the fifth name, right? The इससे पहले right we have a n a n and now i replace or fill with the null values with the with the keywords null so this is my null this is my null ab hum log kya karenge now we print again df dot is null this time it will display as you can see here there are no null values 
within the data set or we can display this is a null values for the entire data set suppose i want to find the null values for the name to hum log yahan pe df name so there are ek bhi null values isme available nahi hai here we have a two null values so in this way we can handle the missing values moving to the next part handling inconsistent formatting so this is a another issue uh, that we can deal in the pre processing activity so handling a inconsistency uh, in the data set is a crucial part of the data bit processing inconsistency mein there are three things that we have to uh, remember the first is one is your text case we have a data set in that we have a different types of cases suppose some names are all in capitals some names are all in small letters or some names are mix of capital and small to isko bolte hai inconsistency this is one of the inconsistency uh, available in the data set we have to handle it then there are leading and trailing white spaces blank spaces we have to remove the uh, blank spaces from the columns and inconsistent data formats suppose we have a date time format we have a different types of formats for the date and time dd mm yy mm dd yy and the another one there are lots of formats available for the date so some dates are dd mm yy but some dates are in mm dd yy so we can handle it okay so we have a pandas library available in python so that we can handle inconsistency in the data set so we start with the uh, python code to handle the inconsistency in the data set okay so sabse pehle what we will do uh, we have a data set right we have a data set here this is my data set suppose uh, in the name column okay i am uh, giving alice as a capital and emma as a capital so these are the two column uh, two names uh, the, that are in capital letter okay just save it save data set then replace the existing one then again upload the file in the google colab okay just copy this path upload we have a sample data okay now we first again read the data set import pandas as pd then df equals to pd dot read underscore csv content sample and print df so pandas so now just execute this code as we can see here there are inconsistency uh, in name column because the two names alice and emma are in capitals so we have to handle it okay so what we can do here we can print only the names so alice and now to handle this inconsistency right we have a uh, methods in pandas library we have to use that method okay then now i am printing i am uh, defining a variable new names equal to df of df of name and then dot str dot to lower we have a lower this is a function that will convert all the uh, names into the lower case and now i am printing print new name then again we have to check 
in the new name as we can see here all the names are in small letter so we can do right we can convert the all the data from the one column into the lower case in the same way new underscore name one df dot to upper and now again we print name one so all are in capital letter as we can see here all the names will be converted into capital letters or yahan pe all the names are converted into small letter we can also uh, deal with the blank spaces name 2 dot strip so this is a function right ek function hai that will uh, remove all the white spaces between the names this is all in capital well this is my original data with capital and small mix then we converted the data into the capital then all is all in small and this will remove the white spaces so this is uh, the basic part to handle the inconsistency in data set so this is all about this uh, session okay the next session i will explain how we can detect the outliers in the data set that is one of the pre processing activity that is carried out so that it will improve the accuracy of the model i hope you understood this session thank you so much